Hello and welcome back to CubeVR. The last time I finished my church and all of the surroundings and I started with doing a little road and we will continue this. Press the A button to open the magical briefcase. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, um, I know about this, but yeah, it's a pretty good thing that people now get even told what to do with the suitcase. Because when you start, you don't know what to do. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. So I already completed this path. So it's just here. I should get rid of this stuff here. So. And yeah, the question. Maybe it should just be straight. No curves, no nothing. Then I have to remove this tree. I never really noticed that the axe is actually glitching into the finger. The developer Stompic Studio pointed this out on Discord. Come on. Ah, some wood. Actually, I saw a clip of someone actually um, throwing the wood up and then cutting it in mid-air, which is actually pretty awesome. I never knew that you can do this. So it's really interesting to watch other people play the game. <laughs> it's actually pretty nice. Come on, that was a bit too big. Well, that was too far. Ha! <laughs> okay, that's really fun. <laughs> ha! Zack! <laughs> That's really fun. Sorry for our, um, laughing, but it's really fun. If you have access to the game, you should try this as well. So where did the wood fly to? We will never see it again. <laughs> Come here. Here it is. Yo. That's not what I wanted to get. Okay, enough playing around. We have stuff to do. We have to build a road or a path. Actually, something funny happened last Sunday. For some reason, YouTube decided to allow me to have memberships now. I just got a message that now I'm allergic to have Memberships. I clear all of the requirements. Which is nice, but also really strange because there's nothing that changed for my channel over the last couple of months. My subscription count is stagnant for five months. My view time overall was lower than it was on average. And actually, it didn't look like I did really well, but somehow YouTube decided to, yeah, don't care about it and gave me the okay. <laughs> so that was the normal flagstone. Flagstone was 
a bit more dirt and stone on top. Yes, it was. So, I still have five, six stones. Only need four. That means we can make another 24 flag stones and then I will collect the stone and maybe go to the... Oh no! Full inventory. I can put the cube painter back in my storage. And that reminds me visuals let's look at this guy. It's nice and blue and it's even bluer and nicer now. So we got a new color scheme for this guy. Overall, it removes a bit of the red in the sky, so now the sky doesn't look as dirty anymore. Usually, um, when a color is not really bright and it somehow looks a bit mushed or not white, we call it dirty. At least in the printing industry in Saxony. <laughs> Every company I ever was, we always said that the color looks dirty. It's usually used when you have something that has a tiny bit of black in it and if it's a bit too much then it just looks a bit darker and not as nice. That's when we say that looks dirty. Also happens for orange or red tone. If orange for example if you put a bit too much red in it it starts to get a dark red and if you want to have it on a white orange stuff then a bit too much red even if it's just a tiny bit in dots can result in something that doesn't look nice that's when we say it's dirty and yeah for the sky it would be red now it looks a bit more cartoonish and yeah it... let's go back to the one Here it's a bit more not blue. It's really hard to describe it in not technical terms. But yeah, you can see that it actually isn't as bright and intense as here. Here it's just dark blue. It's really bright and just a nice sky. And here it looks... Yeah, maybe there's smog. <laughs> Some really heavy polluted air around here. So yeah, overall I like this. Even though it looks extremely contrast and a bit cartoonish, I still like it a bit more. We also get this kind of blue sky sometimes in real life, so it's not really that far off. I think the theme too was the new one and that's the old one i mean it still looks pretty nice it's just mm -hmm. and here it's just really nice i think the sun rays are also a bit different they are not as bloomy as they were so here it's really whitish so a bit more blue in the light and here they removed it with a bit more red or they just yeah we moved it a bit into the not so white stuff usually in color stuff you add blue to get it a bit whiter also for paper natural paper is pretty yellowish because of the lignin that is inside the plant paper stuff and you can actually remove this to get a bit more white paper and 
to make the paper really, really white, you add blue. Or usually you don't add the color blue, but usually you add some reactions that react with the UV light and reflect it or break the UV light into blue light that gets reflected. And that's what you can see as a bit more bluish. And because you got more uh, yeah, light um, reflected and a bit more light to your eye, it works. Uh, it looks a bit more whiter than it actually is. But it's not really white, it's bluish. And natural paper is really on the yellowish side. That's very important if you want to print something, then you have to consider the color of the paper actually. Because if you want to print something that is really um, blue, you can't use a yellow paper because the blue color will reflect, or the yellow paper underneath the blue color will reflect a bit of yellow as well, so the blue becomes a bit more greenish. So it's really important to consider this as well. Usually if you want to have something printed, you go to an agency and they do this. It's their job. Usually they know what they do, but sometimes they just don't. You can also use and um, do this by yourself in, for example, Photoshop. It's called Paper White Simulation. And there you can actually simulate a lot of different kinds of paper. For example, Japanese paper looks different than the normal European paper standard. And you have to consider this. The same for um, newspaper. Newspaper paper is usually really yellowish because it's pretty cheap recycling paper. And yeah, you don't need to have any whitening in it because I'm working on the paper to remove the lignin costs money and makes the paper more expensive. And a newspaper needs to be really cheap. Every country handles the newspaper a bit differently. In Germany it's really really cheap and simple. For example, if you transfer the paper in the printing press, you usually use little needles to poke holes in the lower part of the newspaper, so you can transport it throughout your production hall and stuff. And we just leave the holes in the paper when we sell it. Nobody complains about it because that's how it always has been and always will be. <laughs> but for example in Italy you usually don't see those puncturing holes. They remove them. They just cut them off so that you don't see it because they don't like it. It's really interesting to see how different the paper culture can be. At least for me it's interesting because I work with this stuff every day. Maybe not so much in the future, but for now I do. And I did for a vast time of my life. So, okay nice. And I should build a lamp post here. And we should remove the dirt to make it look a bit better. I can do this by just going to form some stones. So. Ah, one more. Okay, one more up here, like this. Is it really that high? Nah, it's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's it's the right one. Okay, then it's three in each direction. Let's make this a double one so we have a nice little. Do I still have? I don't have um, thermal stone on me. Thermal tile. That's thermal. Shimmer stone? No, I think that's the shimmer tiles. I'm so incompetent. I don't even know the name of the block that I want to use. I am so sorry. I can put the class back. I think it was from here somewhere. So, no, it is. Some mustard. Some white color here. And some... Didn't we have the... A wood chest. Mm. So... I think that's the wood that we got from the trees last time. So. And two of these little guys. Boop, boop. Yeah, it's shimmer tile. So. Let's place them here. The funny thing is, when I got the okay from YouTube to have memberships, YouTube also suggested that I make it a big announcement on all of my social media and to have a stream just dedicated to the announcement of my membership stuff. And yeah, I can understand because YouTube gets money as long as I have memberships. But for me, it's not really that important. I just enabled it and... Yeah, I made some uh, membership icons, so when you get into a membership, you have a little icon beside your name to indicate how long you are a member of the channel. I was a Takodachi for five months, so I had the five month Takodachi. There is no one, there was just a two month, and the next one would have been the six month. But I ran out of money on my Google account back then. Oh, maybe I should keep the torch. And back then it was the first time that I actually put money into a VTuber, but Ina just did a really good job and I had the spare money. I had 15 euro on my Google account. I did some of those um, research surveys and yeah, that's the way how I got 15 euro on it. I wanted to use it on... Um, paid grand order but back then it was not supported in Europe so I just had 15 euro to burn and I burned it on my Oshi. I don't regret it. I could have gotten a Moko Tenchi book but supporting my favorite VTuber was more important. I have the benefits of um, Early access to videos. Right now I don't have any early access videos. I plan to release my videos that I make my normal let's plays like a day earlier and then just manually release them again for the public. Or maybe I will make some exclusive stuff like some behind the scenes, however I want to make this. I have no idea. Or maybe the cooking stream that some people ask me for. <laughs> no. I went with a pretty cheap membership fee. Because you can decide between a euro, two euro, five, ten, whatever you want. And yeah, the recommended one, if you only have one tier, is about five euro. So I went with three. 
<laughs> and I make it made a second um, tier for 10 euro for just people who don't know what to do with their money. I'm pretty sure that no one will get to this tier because it's absurd, absurdly high and expensive and the benefits are just non-existent. So don't do this. <laughs> but yeah, I did what YouTube told me to. I advertised it now and that should be enough. I don't want YouTube to get mad at me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't care. So, come on. And something else happened which is really nice. I am on Blue Sky and Quoi posted his um, game settings for No Man's Sky. And because we have similar PC specs, I was like, hmm, I want this game on minimum requirements settings and Quoi has almost everything maxed out. Let's try this as well. So I tried Quoi's setting and now No Man's Sky is just eye candy. It looks so gorgeous. I mean, it looked gorgeous before, but now it's even more gorgeous. It's really nice. I had to reduce some detailed stuff because my CPU couldn't handle it that well. I got a lot of late starts for my CPU and a lot of reprojections in the red. I changed some high to medium and then I got a really pleasant 120 FPS and most of the time 60 FPS without any disturbance, which was really nice. And then I noticed that I actually should play a bit more No Man's Sky on stream because I never touched the main story. <laughs> they just released a new story part and I'm still at part one and they are now at, don't know, 17 something? <laughs> and I went to the cinema with some former co-workers. First time in a while that I actually went to a cinema or did anything with friends or co-workers. And yeah, we went to the movie Oppenheimer, which was really nice, was done really well. I was a bit afraid that they would do some really strange storytelling and just glorify Oppenheimer's um, work. But they put it in a really nice and realistic way. I really enjoyed it. So. I think that's, that looks good. So now if we stand here. We have a nice road from our little plaza. We don't need this torch anymore because we have real lighting now. So we can remove this torch as well. No more torches. We have electricity. <laughs> so, come here. It is kind of like electricity. Maybe today I will actually record the unboxing of my new index controllers. I do have my DJI uh, Osmo DJI no, DJI Osmo Mobile SE. Really strange name. So yeah, I have my gimbal for my smartphone and I should use it. I w Why are there holes in the gravel? I don't like this. Yeah. 
One more, okay. This is just dirt. It should become green now. Nice. Let's see if there's any dirt block that refuses to get green. I really like my church. Maybe I should make another screenshot at daytime with a better angle. Now let's see. Maybe from here. Maybe I can hide my Evangelion. If I do it like this. Let's just try. Okay, I hope this will look nice. Oh, SteamVR didn't complain this time. Interesting. So, I wanted to do something last time, but I forgot what it was. Hmm. Ah, the hassle of becoming old. You start to forget stuff. Hmm. What was it that I wanted to do? Ah... Hmm. Hmm. Do you guys remember what I wanted to build? <laughs> I forgot. Sorry. Hmm. You can leave a comment below to say what I wanted to do. Hello? Interesting. Maybe I should start preparing my third anniversary. It should be pretty soon, to be honest. We already have September. I hope I didn't test this the anniversary already. That would be bad. Oh, I have to check. Oh, now I feel really bad. Oh, no, oh, no, no. I wanted to try something else. I have no idea why it doesn't work. I wanted to use the time lapse to make a video of my pixel art, but somehow the camera just doesn't work. I don't know why. The resolution is okay. So let's see, still not really working. That's really strange. That's a bit sad because when I do a pixel art, I just do it off screen. But if I record a video for it, I could put this actually in my members only benefit video section. I think that would be a good benefit. It doesn't hurt anyone to not see me build it, because usually I don't record myself. But if I do record myself with a time lapse, then 
those who actually support the membership get something from it. And then after a year or so I will just make it open or once a month. I don't want to exclude anyone who doesn't support me because I just don't want to do it for the money. So yeah, but I have to do it or give some benefit. So maybe like a month exclusivity would be nice. Big hall. Hmm. I totally forgot what I wanted to do. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Be gone, torches. I don't need you anymore. I can have... The almighty power of a lamp post. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. Just need a shimmer stone for it. And here. So, nice. I should also remove this. Is this also seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. It is. Okay. That's pretty nice. Hey there, Braten, number four or five. Braten the fifth. Welcome back home. <laughs> Let's see how long we can keep this Braten. So yeah, um, I will check if I already had my anniversary or not. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this a bit uncommon video. All I did was making a path and talking stuff. I think it's still more than I usually do. Sometimes my videos are with even less content. So it should be fine, right? I hope it is. Tell me if it's not okay, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time and please stay healthy. Bye. Nice church. I'm proud of it, to be honest. Turns out nice. Well then, bye.